Okay, we're now going to finalise our map by inserting it into our report. Before we do so, I would really strongly suggest that you save this Word document. That way, if you've made any errors on here or we need to add something later on or modify the map, you've still got it in a modifiable mode in Word. So just go File, Save As, drop it into your folder for the report and call it Site Map, as I've done, and press Save. Now, that means that you've got it there and you can go and work on it again if you need to. The next thing you need to do is be able to um, snip this image so that it becomes a picture. It's not modifiable. It means that as you insert it into your Word document for your report, as you type around it, it won't modify any or move any of the um, elements of it. So simply use your snip tool, as you know, click and drag. Just go a little bit beyond the border so that we make sure that we have included the border. Click and File, Save As. And just close, do as I did, save it as Site Map Final JPEG, JPEG. You can close that Snip Tool down. Now open up your report template. I'm going to pretend this is my report template and we're going to insert our map as a picture. So insert picture, site map final, insert. We've got all of our bolts, things that we have done so far. So we've got our border, we've got our orientation, we've got our legend, and we've got our scale. But we're missing our title and our source. The references tab is your best friend in Word, particularly when you're doing a report, and it will reduce your workload later on. To create your figure title and number, we use our References tab and go to Insert Caption. It automatically identifies this as a picture. Pictures, diagrams, drawings, anything that is not a table is classified as a figure. It also automatically recognises that this is the first figure that I am um, uh, putting a caption to in this report. So it will automatically number your figures as you go through. It also ensures that it is in the conventionally accurate location, which is below the selected item. So figure one colon, Hilliards Creek, comma, Ormiston, and press OK. As you can see, it's come out blue. That's the default mode for this particular um, Word document, but we can change that later on. When you press enter, just go to the home tab to ensure that you are in normal style or normal type mode. Now we can go to our references and we're going to insert our source or as Word calls it, a citation. It's in the citations and bibliography. So if you can't quite remember, because it sounds similar to caption, always think it's going to end up in my bibliography. So it's in this particular box. Insert citation and we're going to add a new source. Our first drop down menu gives us lots of different options as to where we got the base map from. This particular base map, as you know, was collected from a website. In our authors, you only fill in that first line if it's an individual author or a group of authors. If it's an organisation, whether it be a business or a government, you tick corporate author. And in our case, we will type in Google. The web page, most web pages will have their own name, but we will use our search, which was Hilliards Creek Ormiston. And our website is Google Maps. If we go back to our website, we can see that it was made in 2013. So click down to year. We don't know the month or the day, so we leave that alone. And the URL, again, go back to your web page, click on the address, press Control C to copy it, go into Word and Control V to paste it in and click OK. And you can see it has automatically created your citation in the format that it should be in, the author, comma, and the year. Now we will change the look of this. We're going to highlight our text 
go into home and we're just going to make sure that it's all black. The other thing we're going to change is the relative font size. The font of our heading should always be the largest because it's the most important. So we're going to increase it to 11 point font. The default here is that that's in bold. Feel free to keep it that way or you can return it to um, just normal font. But it's easiest just to keep it in bold. Our source or our citation is least important. It's something that your reader can refer to and will look in the bibliography for further details if they wish to. So we're going to reduce that down to a nine point font. This now creates a really simple thing for you to create your bibliography later on. Just trust me and I'll show you how that happens. You do not need to do this yet, but it gives you a reason to why to fill out all that information for your citation. Assume I've done my report and I've used my citations all the way. I now go up into my favourite references tab and I click on bibliography. I choose the first one that's there and as I just move back up I can see that it has pulled the information from my source material that I inserted before and it's presented the information in the correct format. It means that you don't have to worry about getting it right and putting the full stop in the right way. Word does it all for you. Depending on who you're going to write reports for in the future, sometimes people will say that they want it in Harvard. APA is, is strongly recommended in a lot of universities, as is Harvard. Um, and MLA is probably the next most recognised bibliographical format. We are more than happy at the moment to use APA 6th edition but other subjects may require different things. That gives you a little insight into how easy it is to create your map and insert it into your report.